स्पोर्ट्स से जुड़ी किसी भी छोटी या बड़ी अपडेट के लिए सब्सक्राइब करें स्पोर्ट्स तक और साथ ही किसी भी नोटिफिकेशन को पाने के लिए बेल आइकन को दबाना ना भूलें Yeah, very relevant. I think um, we're obviously disappointed with the way we went in the last series, and for us, then it's a chance to kind of turn that around and um, win another series. With the World Cup coming up, T20 sort of gets in the way of it, doesn't it? Okay. Oh no, it's obviously a slightly shorter version of of what we're going to expect. Um, I guess at the World Cup and, and the cricket we have coming up, but um, another great opportunity to uh, play international cricket against what is a, a very strong opposition. So. I think any time you get the opportunity to to have those experiences, um, they're always good ones. Every international player has to make changes from one format to another pretty quickly. How difficult is that? Yeah, it's certainly a challenge. I think we saw that probably coming into the 50-over format when a lot of our girls had played a, a lot of T20 cricket in the last wee while. So uh, I think it's probably slightly easier to, to transition to the T20 format after having played the the longer format, but um, there's always adjustments that you've got to make, and you still think, you know, I think realizing that you've got longer at the crease than you than you think. Yeah, and you've been doing it for a while, Kane. Uh, <laughs> in in all competitions, really, haven't you? Yeah, but it's it is always a challenge, um, whether that's from Test to One Day to to T20 or whichever sort of uh, equation it is. Um, it does require that adjustment and mindset, like like Amy mentioned, whether you have more time or, or less time because it's T20 cricket, then. Um, as an individual, uh, whether it's bowling or batting, you need to try and adapt nice and quickly. Is it good that you're back at West Back? I mean, you've already just played there, so um, there's not much of a change for you in that regard, is it? Yeah, um, yeah I guess it's nice to have the experience on, on the surface, on the pitch. Um, nice not to perhaps travel. Uh, but it should be a really good crowd, a, an awesome spectacle um, with the ladies first. and. Drax project in the middle, and then we're playing after them. So it should be a, a great evening of cricket and music. Have either of you settled on your teams yet, or not prepared to reveal? I think we're personally getting pretty close. Uh, we've obviously got a couple of new players that have come into our side, so there's a bit of a, I guess, a change in dynamic, and we've got to work out what the best balance is for us, um, and also, you know, working out whether the, the debutants are going to get a run as well. So it's an exciting prospect for us. And you're going to force change already, haven't you? Yeah, yeah, obviously Martin with his back, so he's been ruled out of the series. Uh, and, and a different squad altogether with some new faces. Um, we're going to see some debutantes throughout uh, this series as well, which is really exciting. Um, at this stage, uh, we are going to look at the surface. <laughs> um, yeah, we're, we're, we're not um, decided just yet. It'll just depend on the balance that we want to go on with. There's a number of all-rounders, which will affect um, positions, I suppose. So we'll just finalise that today. Okay, but you're, I mean, you're off the best three, though, regardless, are you? All? Yeah, in, in the top three, yeah. Who are the contenders that you're taking off for the opening spot? Um, I guess without knowing exactly just yet. Um, there's probably a number of guys that potentially could fill that role. There's guys, um, obviously Munro, um, expected in the top three, and, and I suppose it's just that last spot um, where there's a number of power players in the side that could potentially move up the order um, to make that spot, or it could be me. We don't know. Is he considered? Yep, he's considered. Yep, he's one of those power players that we're talking. Geez, you guys, he's done a great job. It's probably <laughs> something like that. Um, but um, but we'll, we'll, we'll still be discussing it today. Yeah, it's sort of um, a little bit of those things that you've just mentioned where we had a number of guys, um, I wouldn't say introduced, but getting some good game time in that Indian series where Tim had played a, a huge amount of cricket. Uh, he's, he's a massive part of our side, a, a leader in the group. So, um, uh, yeah, it was one of those things that's unfortunate on one hand, but I think for the collective it's a, it's a really positive thing that a number of guys were getting opportunities to have those experiences against a fantastic Indian side. A question that's relevant to both of you, but Amy, if I ask it to you, when it comes to debutants, often you know the, the advice is right and play your own game. But how much easier said than done is that from the perspective of the pressure of international cricket? Oh look, I'm, I'm sure there's plenty of nerves. Um, it was a long time ago now that I debuted, but 
you know, it, it certainly is just, I guess, part and parcel with making your debut for your country, you're going to be nervous. And I guess that's part of our job as senior players and um, management around them is to try and make them feel as comfortable as they can be and, and hopefully, um, you know, make them sort of trust in their game that they can go out and perform as they have been in uh, domestic cricket. And I think it's part of our job as well to ensure that their roles don't change too much from what they've been doing at domestic cricket. I think if you try to ask them to do different things, then um, you're going to, I guess, have a challenge.